Thank the organizers for inviting me to share my views on a platform largely consisting of technical persons from the Indian pulp and paper manufacturing sector. I represent the trade. Trade is an extended arm of the industry and it's the eyes and ears of the industry in the marketplace. Uh, the Federation of Paper Traders of Association is an apex body of paper traders in the country with 36 member associations from all over the country and represent the interest of more than 10,000 traders for over seven decades now. Out of approximately 20 million tons that the industry produces, 75% of it is sold through the trade. It's a very large percentage compared to some of the markets overseas and the reason for this is the uh, fragmented nature of the uh, consuming community of the paper and paper board. The trade acts as a link between the manufacturer and end customer and provides a wide range of services like business development, uh, stocking, financing, logistics, etc. And all this at extremely low cost, wherein the margins in most cases is to the tune of 1-2%. to It should actually be a case study of how the paper trader in India survives on such low margins. International paper traders on the other hand operate at very healthy margins of 7 to 10 percent when it's a stock and sale model and it's about 2.5 to 3 percent when it's an indenting business. Before I come to the uh, challenges and opportunities, I would like to highlight that the rules of the game in the paper industry are clearly changing. We are no longer going to be in the traditional 3 to 5 year cycles. The cycle will become much shorter and we may well see an up cycle and down cycle in the same year. And this could be well, well be the new normal for the paper industry in India. And the, the single biggest challenge that the trade faces is of low margins. As I explained uh, earlier, the, that the margins in India for the trader is very, very low. <laughs> the second biggest challenge that the trade uh, faces today is the increase in the working capital. There have been a huge price increase to the tune of 30 to 70 percent depending on the product. And uh, this has really uh, put enormous amount of pressure on the paper trader where the uh, working capital has gone up immensely. And also because of the successive price increases, the inventory build-up at the trade level and at the consumer level has also increased. So that has also created additional working capital stress. Another big challenge of the trade could be the rising risk of NPAs and defaults of the customers. The scarcity of paper and paper board will, may lead to non-availability uh, of this product to some of the smaller and the weaker set of customers. As uh, the trade uh, may not mother, want to give to a leveraged consumer or a per person with a, bad, uh, with a bad payment track record. So this may eventually lead to a lot of uh, bad debts for the trade and uh, it may put pr pressure on the financials. The Indian paper industry is projected to grow at approximately 6 to 7 percent. On a base of 20 million tons, which, uh, this means about 1.4 million tons every year, additional quantity. And to take care of this growth, the trade needs to invest close to 2,000 crores every year additional. In case returns are not lucrative, then the trade may find it hard to difficult to raise this growth capital. <clears throat> if the prices of paper and paperboard remains elevated, then some of the traders may not be able to pump in uh, the uh, required capital. So this may see a wave of consolidation amongst the traders too. Also one other thing that is there is that there is not enough good talent available uh, in India due to the low, uh, low affordability of the trade, which is the result of extremely low returns with the trade it works on. So due to all the above factors, it is very likely that the extension of credit by the trade will may come to a total halt in the coming months and the tremors of this may, shall be felt everywhere. Coming to the opportunities, I think uh, uh, the world over the demand for paper is shrinking but India is among the exceptions to witness a continuous growth. India with more than 16% of the po world population has a share of mere 4.1% of the paper demand in India. It will be pertinent to mention here that uh, China with the same population uh, has, is at 28% of the world demand. They are seven times India's size. Again, the world per capita uh, consumption of 57 kgs, India's per capita, uh, per capita consumption is only 15 kgs, proving the fact that there is so much to achieve. 
World over, the demand for writing and printing paper is shrinking. But India is probably the only market in the world where both the grades, that is writing, printing and packaging grades are growing. Uh, Single-use plastic is a big uh, opportunity, uh, as Mr. Ashraf Bhai has also uh, mentioned that. So the, the next 10 to 15 years, we will witness a mega trend towards plastic substitutions by other mediums. Paper has proved to be an alternate uh, substitute to plastic wherever moisture is not an uh, issue. Recent years we have witnessed an increased use of paper in food packaging, e-commerce, paper cups, shopping bags, wrappers, etc. This could be the single largest multi-decade opportunity for the industry and trade going forward. There is a need for the trade and industry to work together and develop products which could replace plastic as, in as many applications as possible. The government of India under the present political leadership is giving increased importance to education and skilling. Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan, Beti Padao, Beti Bachao and several other initiatives are leading to the spread of education and helping in creating a knowledge society. The education sector in India has a long runway for growth and this segment is far from saturated. If we divide India into three categories, India 1 which is 20 million people which is the Uber rich, India 2 which is 200 million people which is the upper middle class and the middle class and India 3 which is about a billion people or thereabouts, the lower middle class and the below poverty line. The bottom of the pyramid is from where you will see a lot of demand coming in from the education sector. As India's per capita income grows from $2,000 to about $4,000, we will see a big surge in the expenditure of uh, education and healthcare going forward. The scholastic sector contributes to approximately 60% of the writing and printing paper demand. The China plus one strategy of the world will benefit India immensely due to its demographics, low cost and huge domestic market. China is 6 to 7 times India's size and even a small shift can double India's base. There is a serious clampdown by Chinese government on some of the industries which have not invested in mitigating the impact on environment. We saw what happened in the chemical industry over the last 10, 5 to 10 years. Chemical in industry in India grew exponentially during that period. Similar opportunities are staring at the Indian paper industry. With a clear focus on manufacturing by the Indian government, there is going to be an explosion in the demand for paper and paperboard. The manufacturing sector contributes only around 15 to 20 percent of GDP. It is actually 40 percent in China. China. The government has realized that if they have to create employment, they will have to aggressively grow the manufacturing sector and to incentivize this, they have they had come up with a slew of measures like the PLI schemes, lower tax rates from September 2019 that they had introduced, simplification of labor laws and uh, introduction of uh, the tariff and non-tariff barriers on imports. India could well become the uh, printing hub of the world if we are able to provide the right quantum of paper in the right quality and at the right price. It seems like India's decade as far as the paper market is concerned with a clear focus by the world to have an alternate to China. Thank you.